everyone. Hopefully you can hear me over some wind. Uh, today on this windy Saturday, we are working on spreading some manure. So we got a double setup going on here. We got the 1953 Farmall Super M and the 1941 Farmall H. Both on dual wagons. These are dual 400s. As you can see, these are rear unloading wagons. They got a gearbox on the side of them. That's each drive a chain. There's an apron in each one. And that slowly, and when you turn the PTO on, it, it slowly brings the chain back and dumps your load out. So what we are doing is we're taking the Bobcat skid steer and we're gonna load them and load them with manure here. Normally we use these for corn silage, but in the springtime we've been using them for uh, manure, for spreading manure, being that we don't really have a good manure spreader. Our manure spreader is, well, way over there up in the distance. It's a, what they call a side on, unloader or a sling style spreader. And it has chains that sling the manure out. And what are what we've been facing the issue with is that either A, we're overloading it or B, the chains are, are um, worn out. And it's kind of, I guess it's kind of more so a combination of both. But as you can see, dad's gonna reach over the fence and, and load up the, uh, I'm gonna get out of the projectile here. He's gonna load these up. I guess if I would've known he was gonna load this one first, I could've got a little bit closer for him. But, uh, so we're gonna try and run tandem here. And what I mean by that is he's gonna load up this one, I'll go out and spread it. And while I'm spreading this one, he's gonna load up that one. And then, of course, I'll come back. We'll just kinda, I'll just keep kinda running circles with two different tractors. So, we're trying out this bucket. This is actually one that Dad made up mainly for, um, mainly for feeding with it's a old trips it's an it's the old trip bucket off of one of his new idea uh, loaders that he had that one of which was actually on this tractor um, he made it into a into a bobcat style hookup so he's trying that we're not so sure it does I mean you can see it's bouncing around it's not perfect obviously because it's homemade but you know it gets the job done for what we've been for what he's been using it for anyways um, we're not so sure how it's going to do with this material handling here, but uh, Yeah, if we have to we'll break out he does have a dirt bucket. We just have that's the one that has the, the crane arm in it that uh, We were using to pull the transmission out of the, the Ford 4500 backhoe tractor loader backhoe, so Anyways, I'll get loaded. I'll set up the camera for a load and uh, we'll go out and do some spreading and one thing quick before we get going here, I do realize that a rear, that a, you know having a natural manure spreader would be much better for this sort of operation. Uh, that's kind of why at that auction on last weekend I was looking at the rear unloading spreaders. Um, I, what sucked is they all went out of my price range. So that's why we're doing it this way. This way's worked before. It's uh, not you know it doesn't work the greatest, but it works. So. As long as it gets plowed into the ground, that's all that we're kind of really concerned about. So, anyways, that's all I wanted to say here quick.
right guys well that's all for today I got the stupid skid loader stuck Well, there was a saving grace. We got it out, it's unstuck. We're calling it quits for a day. I need to go home and shower. Apologies for that last clip. I know, it kind of went off. So, we'll have our bleeps or whatever, but... Sorry for that, this rage moment. I guess you guys get to be the punching bag today. So, anyways. That's all I got for you now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Thanks for sticking with me. Maybe we'll be back out tomorrow. We'll see. But anyways. There it is. Ready to make another load of feed. Talk to you guys all next time.